Cornet players. Game server hosting made simple. Hi, and welcome to a new Fournet Players tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to configure your project's Zomboid experience using a dedicated server. Server Setup If you haven't done so already, let us first create a server configuration for Project Zomboid. Head over to the customer login on fournetplayers.com. Go to Game Server and click on the big Create a New Game Configuration button. Use the keyword search to look for Project Zomboy directly or scroll through the available titles. Click on the Project Zomboy cover art and then follow the on-screen instructions to create your own Project Zomboy server. When you're done, start your server. Joining your project Zomboid server. Copy your IP address and your port information. Launch the game and click on Join. First choose a name you like. Now enter your IP address and your port information into the input boxes labeled IP and port respectively. In case you enable password protection during the server setup process, you have to enter your server password as well. Now click on Save to create a favorite. Finally click on Refresh and then on Join Server. Becoming an Admin Becoming an admin is quite simple in Project Zomboy. All you need is your admin password. In basic mode, you can find and change this under server settings. Now, start your game and connect to the server. Enter admin as your account name and your admin password in the corresponding fields. Uploading and downloading save games. You can use the save games FTP to manually download or upload your save game. Before you can do any of the above, your server has to be stopped. Then you can connect to save games FTP with your FTP program. You can find the login details in the FTP overview when you click on FTP. Your save game is located in the config ID directory. The config ID directory is a string of numbers corresponding to the config ID you can find underneath the game server you want to access. If, for example, the config ID of your project's Omboid server is 1254695, the directory would look like this. The save file is also named according to the config ID and follows a particular pattern. Config ID underscore save dot zip meaning it would look like one two five four six nine five underscore save dot zip in our case when it comes to uploading save games we advise you first download the save game from save games ftp and unpack it Now copy the save game you want to upload into the corresponding folders. And pack the save game again. Please make sure to pack the save game correctly. The directory structure must remain the same. Also make sure that the name is the same again. Now use your FTP client to re-upload the zip archive to the server's config ID folder. Installing mods. To use mods in Project Zomboid, your server must be in advanced mode. Let's use the mod Fluffy Hair as an example. First, stop the server. Click on the name of your server. Click on serverness.ini on the left. 
you can use the web front end to make edits. Of course, you can use a text editor as well. Look for the following line of code. This is where the workshop ID of the mod goes. For the mod fluffy hair, it would be the following string of numbers. The line should look like this. Now look for this particular line. It's where the name of the mod goes. In the case of fluffy hair, it would be this. The final line should look like this. When you're ready, click on save. Multiple mod IDs and mod names are entered separated by semicolons. You must also ensure that the order is maintained. The end result should look something like this. And not like this. Mod Maps Mod Maps are installed in the same way as mods, so enter the Workshop ID as well as the Mod ID. Furthermore, you also need to add the folder name of the Map Mod. Look for the following line. It is important to insert Mod Maps before Vanilla Maps. For example, you can find the required Workshop IDs mod IDs and map folder names in the mods description. If you have any further questions or need additional support, visit us at fornetplayers.com support. If you don't have a Project Zomboid server yet, you can easily start your own game server on fornetplayers.com. Did you like the video? Then don't forget to like and subscribe.